Hi everyone, it's Adriana here again and thanks for joining me today. I had a few requests on how to use the foiling machine, the Go Press foil machine from Couture Creations and using that in conjunction with our alcohol ink markers. Using the foiling machine you will see that the actual foil does not come off when using alcohol markers. So if you have some of those foiling stamps in your cupboard, in your craft room, get them out and I'll show you this tutorial. This is going to help you create more things with the GoPress 4 machine and adding colour to your foiling. So I've had my GoPress 4 machine heating up this hot foil stamp. This is a very old hot foil stamp from an old collection. So I don't know if it's available in, from stores, but if you have any other hot foil stamps, you can do the same technique. So this is not a can't create die, it doesn't cut out, it just purely foils onto cardstock. It's a plain hot foil stamp. And using the platform of the GoPress foil machine, I'm running that through my die cutting machine. I'm using the Go Cut and Emboss machine, but you can use the Go Power and Emboss machine and running that through my die cutting machine a few times so the foil actually adheres to the cardstock of the hot foil stamp. And here you have, you can see the image that is impressed on my cardstock. I'm going to turn that around and do another imprint so it's a bit of a big spray of flowers that is going to be on my card. This is a very simple card, there's no layering, it's just a purely hot foil stamp and then colouring in with the alcohol ink markers. As you can see I'm placing the hot foil st stamp facing up, the foil colour side down, my cardstock and then a piece of paper that's folded in half to keep the heat in. Once that's heated I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine again as I did before. Remembering the light will flash on and off when the temperature is not correct. Just wait for that light to go back to green to make sure that the right temperature is ready for when you actually have to run it through your die cutting machine. So now I have both of my foiling images ready to go and now this is ready to be coloured in with my alcohol ink markers. So I'm using the New Couture Creations alcohol ink markers. They've been very popular and I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to colour in and the foiling does not dis disappear, it stays there. It's almost like a, an embossed image on my cardstock. Remembering with the alcohol ink markers, please use your blending combination chart. It gives you an outline of some of the colours and I've used lots of colours, the combinations from that chart to create with my flowers and leaves in my foiled image here. I will have a list of all the colours that I've used in my colouring and all my, my materials in the description below my video. This is the colour chart that I am referring to and I'm now using the couple of greens here to do the leaves and this three colour combination is from that blending colour combination chart and I'm using that those three greens to colour in my leaves. I'm also going to add some more um, colour around in the background using my glass media mat and my alcohol inks and I'll show you how I do that very simply by using some isopro alcohol and also some of the colour just squiggled on my glass mat and using a brush to splatter 
colour around my cardstock. So you can see me just using my brush and a little bit of the colour of one of the alcohol ink markers and just splashing that around my card and around the flowers, images. I'm now going to stamp a word sentiment from the You Go Girl collection. It's a lovely little sentiment and I'm using the Stays In Place ink pad. It's the black jet little mini one which is a permanent ink and I'm going to use that to stamp that and I'm stamping now with my Stamp Precision Stamp Press. It's a fabulous tool for making sure you get a great image or sentiment image on your cardstock. So may this day bring you joy and happiness. A very quick card, very simple to do and using products that you may have already in your craft room. Really simple and very elegant card. I'm just trimming now around the edges and I'm going to mat that onto some cardstock and place that onto a 5x7 cardstock. So here is my very simple and very elegant card. It's so easy to create with Couture Creation products using foiling machine, foils, stamping and alcohol ink markers to create a very simple and elegant card. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and please give a big like if you think this was very helpful. Please leave any comments below. If you'd like to see more products and more inspiration, please visit couturecreations.com.au. Thanks for watching and take care. See you soon. Bye.